I'm Terry Wright, and I'm here today with Nicole Ivey, the new Noble Adult and Community Education Director. Thank you, Nicole, for being with us. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Sure. Thank you for having me. So, um, my name is Nicole Ivey. I am the director at Noble Adult and Community Education, as well as Sanford Adult and Community Education. Um, I live in Lebanon currently with my husband and two sons, ages 11 and 12. They're also in the Noble School System. I'm also a graduate of the Noble School System, and so I was very happy to be coming home. Wonderful. Um, I understand you're splitting your time between the Noble Adult Education um, Program and the Sanford Program. How does that work for you? So I'll be splitting my time um, Mondays and Thursdays. Typically I'll be in Sanford. Tuesdays and Wednesdays typically I'll be at Noble. Um, and then Friday is rotating depending on, you know, any given week there's going to be some ebb and flow to the work. Okay. How would people get in touch with you if you're in both places? Do you have a way for people to communicate with you? Mm -hmm. Yep, so our number at Noble Adult Ed is 207-676-3223. Um, and my email is nicole.id at msad60.org. I'm hoping that maybe you can show that on your screen for <laughs> yes. me. I'm sure we can. The fall offerings, can you tell us a little bit about how that's going to work? Because I noticed some of them are remote and some of them are actually going to be in person. That's our hope. Uh, we did push back our enrichment offerings to October. So while we do have our academic students on site currently, um, our enrichment offerings won't begin until the first week of October. As you know, given the pandemic, things are changing daily. Um, so our hope is that we make it that far and that we're able to still run these classes and bring our community back together in ways that we've not yet been able to since the pandemic began in March. Um, so for those that are happening on site, we will be wearing masks, we will be practicing social distancing, we will be limiting class sizes, unfortunately. Um, and for those happening online, uh, we'll be predominantly using Zoom just because it's the less, um, we, we found that it has less barriers for folks. You don't need specific accounts or it's just right. a link that you can click in and, and view. And so we hope whether we're together in site, on site in person or remotely that folks are still able to connect back with us this fall. That was gonna be one of my questions was asking you how it works for in-person and online. Mm -hmm. Are there anything special that the online people will need to have? No, upon registration, we'll issue live links okay. um, for people to be able to zoom into their online classes. And then in terms of on-site, as I mentioned, we'll, we align ourselves with district policy. And so much of what's happening in the daytime for our, our kids is, will be happening in the evenings for us as well. One of the other questions would be, where are the classes that are going to be in person? Where would those occur? Yep, the majority of our classes happen right here at Noble High School. Um, we have use of several classrooms in the evenings where we um, typically hold our classes. So really no different space than we've used before, um, but again, we'll have to be limiting class sizes due to physical distancing regulations. Can you give us some examples of the classes that will be online as opposed to in person? It really varies per instructor. It's partially instructor preference, um, partially what we're able to accommodate here in the building. and so. The brochure that went out did a pretty good job of indicating which courses would be online and which would be on site. Given some of the recent community transmission in York County, um, some other instructors have contacted us saying that they would also like to go remote. And so anytime someone's calling to register for a class or anytime they're going online to register, they'll be notified that that class is either on site or remote. Okay. at which time they can choose if they still want to participate. Now I know there's been some changes as far as the adult education program is concerned. Can you tell us who the current employees are that people might speak to when they call in? Mm -hmm. So we've faced a lot of changes, um, myself being one of them. Yeah. So Brenda Gagne retired after 21 years of faithful and dedicated service to the program, to the communities. Um, so I've taken the reins from Brenda um, beginning in July. Um, we also have Shelby Karen, who's our enrichment coordinator, that does a lot of the community programming. Lisa Smith is our um, front end extraordinaire and really is the point person most folks will talk to when they give us a call. Um, Louise Burns is our academic advisor. Susan Dagnall is our college and career counselor. 
Uh, Tammy Belanger does most of our ELL work with folks in the community and voting and citizenship and just amazing things that she's doing. Um, and we also have other instructors. Jill Smith is a computer teacher. Um, we have Kelly McGlynn, Spencer Libby, um, et cetera, et cetera. I know I'm leaving someone out, but we have a pretty large staff yeah. in addition to dozens of enrichment instructors who contribute every year. Okay. How would people register for classes this year? I know we used to have an open house where they'd come mm -hmm. in and register. How would people do that now? Yeah, we actually have registrations coming in um, every day throughout the day. And so there are several ways. One is um, online, so nobleadulta.org. Um, okay. We also are taking registrations over the phone. I provided our number earlier. I'm sure you can get that up for us. Um, and we are still taking walk-in registrations. We're only able to take you know one or two people in our office at a time. Mm -hmm. um, and we are following CDC protocol and asking questions whether folks are asymptomatic or not. Um, so it looks a little bit different because it has to, but we are moving forward. Is there anything more that you would like the public to know about the Noble Adult and Community Education Program or about yourself? The only other thing I'd like residents and community members to know is that we are open. Um, I don't know for how long, given the pandemic and you know some issues that we're facing, um, as a result, however, regardless of whether we're on site or whether we are remote, um, we will still continue to operate just as we did since March.